Hi everyone and welcome back to my weekly vlog. It is Monday and I got up early this morning, had a nice cup of tea and I've just done my base makeup and brows for now because I'm waiting for a delivery which fingers crossed it comes today for a sponsored post with a brand on an eye palette so so I thought I'd just do my base so it's ready so when it comes I can do the eye makeup straight away but it's not arrived yet so I thought I would hop on my computer and edit last week's vlog oh i have just smashed a load of receipts and invoices a bit boring but i have been waiting all day for my delivery and i thought i'd probably do some admin just to get it out of the way but my delivery has arrived finally so i've just had a delivery from butonomy basically they are a makeup brand where you can customize your own palette so you can customise like a cute design to go on the front, the back and the inside. So they've designed this for me and then I've got these amazing eyeshadows to pop in. How nice are these? So here it is, I've just popped in all of the eyeshadow colours. I'm loving these metallics. So guys, I just created a makeup look using this Butonomy palette that I just got sent. I used the two shades at the top here and this one in the middle to create this look. Super cute. And then I just finished with a lip oil on my lips to give it a bit of a shimmery gloss. It is time for a food shop. However, I can't find my glasses. And I can't be bothered to put my contact lenses in. I always lose my glasses. I literally, I need to put them in the same spot every time because honestly, it's so annoying. So I just got back from Robin's sisters. So she took my suit trousers that I'm going to be wearing on Wednesday for a wedding. They're from French Connection. They're a size eight, but they were just a little bit too big around my waist. So I wanted to wear them high waisted. So she's just taken them in. She did a good job actually, she just did look like a little sneaky job. So that's how much needed to be taken in. Can you see she's kind of done like a little triangle thing here. But they look really, really neat at the back. Can't really tell, she just basically did an extra dart. Like at the back here. So yeah, so they fit me perfectly now, yay! Morning guys, so it's now Tuesday and I just filmed some hair tutorials using these clips. How fab is this updo? I'm loving these. I just got them off eBay. So cute. So yes, yeah, so I just filmed four hair tutorials using these clips and I'm going to do like a mini video for Instagram. And then I've just filmed a styling video because you guys are loving them on Instagram at the moment. Uh, just four ways on how you can style up mum jeans. So yeah, I'm going to go and edit those now. And I'm quite peckish so I feel like I might make myself a snack. So I've just been on Final Cut Pro, this is what I edit on, and yeah, I've just been editing the hair tutorials that I filmed earlier, and I've kind of got a little mashup of all four of them, just four ideas on how you can wear clips, so that'll be up on my Instagram very soon. And I also edited the outfit one as well. And this little munchkin helped me, didn't you? You've been sleeping on me. This is his spot. This is his spot, isn't it, big boy? And Luna's been chilling here. Look at you. <laughs> You're so funny. You've been chilling. You're tired. Why don't we cover you up? Look, you love being covered up. Why don't you get covered up? Come on, get cosy. There you go. Cosy? I got a delivery this morning from Garnier. How frigging amazing is this? So they've designed the packaging to be like cereal and there is Lucky Charms inside. Milky Charms and inside is a prize which is their new micellar milky cleansing water. Let's get it out. I cannot wait to try this. So it's for dry and sensitive skin which is me. Removes makeup and cleanses and hydrates. No rinsing, face, eyes, lips, no perfume. Dermatologically and... Oh. 
ophthalmologically tested. I cannot say that word. I love their cleansing waters. I don't know if you've seen, but I've got a couple of their oil infused ones and I've used them before in videos and stuff. These are literally my favorite, favorite products to take my makeup off with. I tend to use the simple makeup wipes and then I'll pop some of this on, but yeah, love, love, love. And also they gave me a little pad, which is super cute. So I might, I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna try that out tonight, actually, I think. Love that, also, I friggin' love bloody jobs. Oh, just made myself a halloumi pepper lettuce mayo pizza. So tonight's dinner, we've got mushroom and truffle. Trian, what's it called? Tria, <laughs> I can't pronounce it. It's like ravioli, but in triangle shapes. And then I've got garlic and parsley chip, and I put cheese on it. Mm -mm -mm. Morning guys, so it's now Wednesday and me and Robin are off to a wedding today. So I'm gonna be putting on this suit from French Connection. I have filmed a little get ready with me video which is up on my Instagram now if you want to check it out. This is also my hair. And I'm wearing this jewellery. And this is my makeup. And yeah, need to get ready now because we're heading off in about 20 minutes. I'm ready. Robin, you were I was gonna show everyone you. Alright, uh, right. Robin's ready? I feel like I'm going to school. This is what I used yeah. to wear to school. Well, I didn't wear this. Not the excuse the shit all on the floor, yeah. but yeah. You look very smart. Thank you. back from the wedding had a really really lovely day i'm just so tired now but it was amazing i love weddings i think they're so cute and it's so nice that our friends wanted us there to celebrate with them shadow um but yeah lovely lovely day amazing people even caught up with some old friends that i hadn't seen in literally years <laughs> someone's given me a kiss you not seen me today have you big boy i know i know i'm just trying to spend some time with the dogs now because they've been on their own haven't you for a while they had a couple of people come in and out today to take them to the toilet but they've not seen their mummy and you missed your mummy didn't you big boy hey he's a good boy but yeah had a really lovely day the weather held out as well which was amazing it was super sunny didn't rain and yeah really lovely a nice time me and daddy had a nice time yes shadow i know you miss me you miss me didn't you big boy i know you did i know you're gorgeous aren't you morning guys so i'm just trying to tidy up my dressing room i just filmed another styling video which was signing up 
three different pieces of animal prints so just kind of like little ideas on how you can style them up so it was like a statement animal print jacket a animal print skirt and an animal print top so yeah so i just did that but because my dressing room is so small i have to literally like move everything to like the corners of the room and now i'm just trying to tidy it up um yeah i don't know why i'm out of breath <laughs> it's hot and yeah now i'm done i'm so tired from the wedding oh my god why do weddings oh why do weddings literally take it out of you i think it's because you're constantly like talking all day to people and you're, you're you have to be like on it for a wedding and like we really enjoyed ourselves i did have a bit to drink i didn't drink that much but obviously it's day drinking so it's like slow drinking but like you have quite a few throughout the day and also i don't know why but i've woken up and i've literally got ulcers on my tongue i've got an ulcer there i've got an ulcer under my tongue and then i already had two here but they're like super stinging today so i feel like just because i'm tired and maybe a little bit run down i don't know i'm just yeah it's not good so my mouth is just really hurting today and i suffer with ulcers quite a lot so it's not fun um but yeah i've just videoed that and that's the only thing i'm videoing today thank god i thought i was filming like full-on makeup tutorials for youtube and stuff but thank god i just scheduled in to film this little styling video which i've done and it didn't take too long which was good and now i'm gonna go downstairs i'm gonna have some lunch chill the dogs and just sit my computer and edit so pretty chill day i feel so bad for robin though he had to go to work at 7 a.m this morning although I, I did feel bad for myself because i also had to get up at that time because i had to go to the new house to let our painter and decorator in he is just finishing up some little touches to the bedrooms and my office just because there was like plugs that were left on the walls from when the electricians came in and my painter and decorator didn't move them because he didn't realize he had to so just a little touch up so that's good so then the rooms will literally be absolutely perfect and yeah i'm just need to get the flooring done and then i can start filling it with stuff oh yeah i've got my sofa being delivered tomorrow for my office which is super exciting however i haven't got flooring in there but i guess i'll just put the sofa in there for now and just move it out when the flooring guy comes but that is exciting it's from dfs and i will show you tomorrow when it gets delivered it's a nice green velvet sofa just got two wigs delivered Ooh, here is one and here is another i have ordered loads of wigs off ebay i think six or seven and i'm going to be filming a cheap wigs from ebay video very soon for my youtube channel so watch out for that i also got sent some unicorn lashes i love 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 their lashes so nice and the new naked reloaded palette here it is it's got a spongy case so cool also excuse the noise my washing machine is on so I open it up if i can one-handed oh yes oh wow that is so oh my god these shimmers i love this shade that looks amazing so nice can't wait to try thank you urban decay look what else came i honestly cannot wait to try this this looks epic also makeup obsession have launched concealers so i've got sent a couple of shades there and primers these look really good and also guys i just got this delivered i ordered this a while back when i was shopping in leon c it is from wild rice designs i got it from tin design store in leon c it is a ceramic cross and look how beautiful this is there's so much detail it is unreal yet yeah, i'm literally in love with this i cannot wait to put it up in my new house oh please excuse my lipstick but i cocked up today i was meant to go to a benefit event in london and the brand emailed me and was like where are you completely forgot well i didn't forget i put the wrong date in my friggin diary i put next thursday instead honestly like i am so annoyed at myself i've never ever done that before i'm usually so on it use my diary always got dates written in there and i put it on the wrong friggin day who even does that and yeah absolutely gutted oh i feel so bad um but when i found out and realized 
because I don't live in London, it takes me probably an hour, hour and a half to get into Central. There just wasn't really any time for me to go, which is so annoying and I feel awful. But hey, I guess, can't change it and these things happen. So frustrating though. Oof. Yeah, Robin's on his way back from work. I'm about to cook dinner. I don't know what's going on. I sound like I'm ill. I don't feel ill. I just have a bit of a funny voice. And I mean, I have loads of ulcers in my mouth. I can't even talk properly. I've been putting on this like stuff which you coat your ulcers in called Igloo Rapid Relief Gel. So I've just been using that. That's why I'm talking a bit funny because I've got like a lump of it like here. Um, it's not really helping though. Well, it's helping this one, but not the rest of my mouth. But yeah, not fine. But yeah, I sound ill. So I hope I don't wake up tomorrow or the next few days and actually become ill because that would be super annoying. Um, but yeah. Is that Robin ringing me? Yeah, Robin's ringing me. Gotta go. We got for here for dinner. This is how much recycling. I've had in the last two weeks. They're picking it up tomorrow. It's ridiculous. Hello, rascals. For he is with Delish, and I'm super excited because we are about to find out who has won the global America's Got Talent. Morning, guys. So it's now Friday, and I just filmed this rainbow brow tutorial inspired by Nikki Tutorial. So cool. Obviously, need to take it off now because they're a bit extra. Um, I also woke up with another ulcer today, which is not fun at all. I have so many right now. Also, excuse that noise. I just put the washing on. Um, yeah. It's it's not great. It's painful. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, aren't you? Um, my brows are back to normal, guys. Thank God. Um, I do love the rainbow brow look, though. Definitely going to wear it for a festival or something this summer. Mm. Yeah, so I've edited the video. That's all done and dusted. And now I'm basically waiting because something exciting has been delivered to the new house. I've got my green velvet sofa coming from DFS, which is going to go into my office. So it is the first piece of office furniture I've got in the new house. I'm not going to get anything else though yet because I need to wait till the floor's down really. But yeah, I've got the sofa for now. So I'm really excited. Just got a two-seater sofa, just a small one. And it's going to go in the corner by the window. Fingers crossed it should fit. So yeah, so they've given me a three hour time slot though. So I'm hanging at my normal house. I don't want to go to the new house for three hours because there's no heating and there's nothing there. So um, yeah, I'm hoping they're going to ring me when they're like half an hour or ten minutes away or something. But yeah, I'm just chilling with the dogs now. Giving them a bit of love and attention. Hmm. I love a head rub, don't you, big boy? There's Luna. There she is, baby. She's on the lookout. My sofa has arrived, guys. I'm so happy. It's just a small two-seater sofa, but, like, it's quite deep. So it, it's pretty nice, actually. It's actually bigger than the one in our current house. It's like a pro it's still like a proper sofa. This is from DFS. It is so nice. Look at this, look at it against the wallpaper. So I'm just trying to play around with where to put the sofa. I originally wanted it to go on this wall here, but it looked really odd. I didn't realize it came out so much. I didn't realize how deep it was, but I think it's because I can't push it flush up to this wall because of the radiator. So it comes out probably another 10 to 15 centimeters more than I originally thought. So I'm now gonna try and put it under the window and see what that looks like. So I've now tried it here, but I'm still just not vibing it. So I might have to change this whole room around, like the whole idea I had, and put my sofa over there. Cause I was gonna have this whole wall as like my desk and a bookshelf. So maybe I put the sofa there instead let's move it there now so i've moved it over here now but i still just don't know you know i'm still not sure i feel like maybe it's because it's quite small but it's really deep but also there's nothing else in here so it just looks odd on its own it is such a nice sofa though and it looks amazing against the wallpaper so yeah I think maybe I just need to get some flooring down and once I get the rest of my furniture maybe I can just have like a little play around. I feel like that's probably the best 
way to do it. So Robin is home now and we a long might run. have just got McDonald's. Naughty naughty. Probably shouldn't have got McDonald's, but oh, I really did enjoy that double cheeseburger. Today, Not gonna yeah. lie. Um yeah, Robin got home late from work, so we are watching the Umbrella Academy on Netflix. We've watched how many episodes? Two or three? Three. Three episodes. So good. Really like enjoying it. it. I really like it. It's really not that great. Oh, you don't like it? It's alright. Well, if you didn't want to watch it, I could have been No, I want to watch watching it, it, but it's not... I don't want you to sell it to your... Oh, well, I personally am fans. enjoying it. It's not really the type of thing that I normally watch, but it's quite... It's quite entertaining, so... Uh, yeah, I'm into it, I'm into it. Uh -uh. So we're going to watch that tonight it's a bit annoying how the episodes are an hour long yeah but like it's quite it it's quite a long episode takes up a lot of time yeah but i am enjoying it so that is what we're going to see tonight friday night netflix morning guys so it's now saturday and i'm super excited because i'm getting my roots done today i've left them too long i used to leave them so much longer than this but i try not to leave them that long anymore because i don't want to get a band i you was getting bands before like you could see kind of like a brassy band everywhere all the time every time i had my roots done so try not leave it too long but yeah i'm going to fatal attraction again i've been there the last two times and i really really love the girl chrissy that does my hair so i thought i would just go back i'm gonna get my roots done i'm gonna try and get her to take away some of the blue if she can and an olaplex treatment and a cut i'm gonna go back a little bit shorter like i did before because it actually worked out really well so the last time i had my hair done was the beginning of december and it's like a mid end of feb now so what so just over just under three months of root which is quite a lot really that's not a long time but yeah i should have got it done a lot sooner probably about two weeks ago but I don't really have time, so got it done today. But yeah, I am happy with the length though. So I went a little bit too short last time because I wanted my hair to still be in like a nice kind of bob style by the time I then went in again. And I have to say, it's worked out perfectly because before I'd get like my hair cut to probably the length it is now and then it would just go to my shoulders and just look a bit naff. So yeah, really pleased with how it's grown out and the fact that it's kept its style so yeah gonna go back to a short bob today i will obviously take you with me gonna go for coffee first in town and then my appointment's at 11 45. <music> I am back from the hairdressers. This is my hair. Uh, not really what I had intended, but it will do. So I went back to Chrissy at Fatal Attraction in Colchester. I love the way she does my hair and she listens to me and we work together. And yeah, this is this is sort of what we ended up with today. Basically because I wanted to get rid of the blue. It's still there. It would not budge. Basically what we did today was we bleached my roots and then we did a bleach shampoo mix with a bit of water in the basin. And we left it on for probably 20 minutes and she was massaging it into the ends and everything. And you know, some blue did come out, but it's still blue. It's not even like a pastel blue, it's like a vibrant blue so yeah so that didn't come out so i didn't obviously want to leave the bleach on for too much longer because one it wasn't really doing anything and two it's quite damaging so after that instead of doing an olaplex treatment we tried something new this time so there is this new thing from tg called copyright and they've got an sos treatment so we did that sos treatment and then we popped on the TG Copyright Repair Shampoo, which is this one here. We you also use the Repair Conditioner, which is this one here. And we added in a Repair Booster. 
into the repairing shampoo now basically you can get a bespoke kind of hair care when you go to a salon that does this tg copyright custom care collection so it's only available in a salon but you can then take home the shampoos and conditioners and basically you talk to your hairdresser you tell them about your hair you Obviously mine's bleached so I want to focus on repairing but you talk to them about, I don't know, maybe your hair's lacking moisture or volume or it's frizzy, stuff like that. You talk to them and then there's lots and lots of different custom care shampoos and conditioners. So for me obviously I bleach mine a lot so I wanted to focus on the repairing collection. So that's why I got the shampoo and conditioner and then obviously the booster. They do lots of different boosters though so if I wanted to obviously focus on repairing I could focus on the repair shampoo and conditioner but then get like a moisture booster if I wanted to kind of give my hair a bit of moisturising or I could have popped in a bit of volume. So yeah but I want to just focus on repairing because I think to, to me that is what my hair always needs especially after I've got it bleached. So yeah, so they do the SOS treatment, which is very similar to Olaplex. It basically rebonds your hair once it's been the bonds have been broken down from bleaching or applying heat to it. I do obviously a lot of hairstyles where I'm curling my hair every day and stuff. So yeah, we did the SOS treatment, which I think is like a five minute treatment, and it's a lot cheaper than the Olaplex treatment as well at Fatal Attraction. You can get the SOS TG treatment for £10 or they do a deal where you can get it for £15 if you then get the booster in the shampoo and conditioner treatment afterwards. So yeah, that is what I'm going to try. So I've obviously still got my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, which I've been telling you guys. I've been using that for about two months now and I do love it. I've noticed a difference, but I'm going to be trying this repair shampoo and conditioner now just to see what it's like you know it says it repairs damaged breakage prone hair with color care complex infused system an expert blend of keratin lipids and coconut oil it's a repair system it strengthens bonds within the hair fiber and smooths external damage and it's protected against future damage getting better with every wash so yeah gonna give it a go i will update you on my weekly vlog sorry this is a long talk here but you guys ask me about my hair all the time. So these, this is the new treatment that I'm going to be using on my hair. Obviously with Olaplex, you get that at home Olaplex treatment that you can do once a week. So this is completely different. This is just a shampoo and conditioner and a little booster that I'm going to be using every time I wash my hair. So we shall see. I'm going to obviously try it for the next month or two. See how I go because it usually takes that long for you to notice the difference. But yeah, going back to my hair... We couldn't get rid of the blue. This was Manic Panic Enchanted Green. Did not come out of my hair. I did that at the beginning of January. So that's been in my hair for two months now. And it's not budged, even with the bleach wash shampoo. So, hello, huge tub of vitamin C powder. I got this from Holland and Barrett for £27, which is really expensive, but I think vitamins cost a lot yeah so i've got this i'm going to be mixing some of this with shampoo tomorrow i will vlog it obviously to try and get some more of this blue out so fingers crossed we'll see but this is my hair now i love the cut i've gone back shorter didn't bother getting any layers this time i've just gone completely blunt yeah love the style but i just want to get rid of this blue because i want to change my hair up for you guys and film another video Mwah. Oh, so just freshened up and got back into my normal clothes because I got out of them earlier. And I am heading into town. We're going out for dinner for Miranda's birthday. We're going to ask. And then, so exciting, we are going to an escape room in Colchester, which I didn't even know existed. I went to an escape room in Berlin uh, last year, last October, for the first time ever. And I loved it. It was so much fun. And yeah, I'm so excited. So it's called Doomsday Games in Colchester. And yeah, I will be vlogging before we go in. I can't actually vlog the experience because obviously I don't want to give it away for you guys in case any of you want to go. But I'll vlog getting there, going in and what we think afterwards. And I'm so excited. <music> So 
just had dinner. I think we're all pretty stuffed, but we've just arrived at Doomsday Games. Dun, 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 dun. How do you get in? Oh, I'm so scary. scary. Stacey's so getting ready. <laughs> what, what are you looking at, Kate? What have you got in there? It's like a radio. Ah, it's, oh my god, look, this is like the reception area. It looks so good. Look at this door. What is going on? into the gate. Are we getting cozy with Bill? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> so what did we think of Doomsday Games then? Well I can um, just say I was bloody brilliant. I yeah, do you know what I was so surprised. I wish that I'd actually listened in their science class. Yeah. No, you didn't. It was quite it was like you um, didn't need to it was so the game. It was so it was so good, yeah, guys. So the game was stuff. basically like end of the world apocalypse. You've got oh. to create a virus, no, a vaccine. Sorry, there was viruses going around. You have to create a vaccine to basically get out of the escape room. It was so good. Like it was actually quite difficult, and you get like this thing that you wear on your arm, and the girls that run it sort of like send you little codes to, like help you out. Um, but yeah, it was it was really good though. It was so funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was so good though. We have come to Pavilion in Colchester for some cocktails. Oh my god, last night was so good, guys. I highly recommend going to Doomsday Games in Colchester if you live here or are nearby. It was epic. I have woken up, I'm a bit tired, but I'm not too bad. I just watched um, The Voice from last night, caught up with it. Also caught up with a Grace Dancer, over a cup of tea and chilling with the dogs. Robin's gone to work today. I've got a really bad knot in my neck from when I slept. Oh, it's horrible. I hate that when you sleep like really funny and then wake up the next day and then you like cannot move. Um, yeah, so, you know I was talking to you guys yesterday about this blue. So it does actually look a little bit lighter. But I still want to try and get rid of some more. So... I have seen this treatment thing that, that people have done where they mix vitamin C with shampoo. So obviously I showed you that vitamin C powder I got the other day. So I'm gonna mix some of that with my Olaplex shampoo that I've got. I'm gonna do that because that is the shampoo I've been using recently. So I thought I'd just mix it with that. I meant to use a clarifying shampoo like Head and Shoulders, but I don't have any and Robin's got the car so I can't really go out and get any, and I can't be bothered to put makeup on and go into town, so 
yeah I am going to try and just use a normal shampoo with it and just see what happens um I was gonna do a dedicated video but can't move this is Sunday I don't want to do myself up this is my day off so I just want to try and get rid of this blue so I can actually dye my hair for you guys next week if I can see I'm gonna go wash my hair and leave on this vitamin C shampoo mask thing for like 45 minutes and we'll see what happens so I have got the vitamin C and shampoo mix on my hair I'm gonna leave it on for like 45 minutes it doesn't really look like it's doing anything so far to be honest I just don't think this manic panic blue is gonna budge Oh, so I'm looking slightly more human. Uh, I've just put a little bit of concealer and bronzer on. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about the hair. Um, it's a tiny bit lighter. I did the vitamin and shampoo wash. So I did it uh, twice. I did it twice. And then I just shampooed it a couple times. And then I actually full on had a bath, washed my hair, put some conditioner in. The new conditioner that I'm using, the TG Copyright Care one, which is focusing on repairing, so I use that. My hair feels super soft, so the vitamin C and shampoo mix didn't actually dry out, which I know a lot of people say it does, but it didn't really dry my hair out. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's still blue, let's be honest. It's faded a tiny, tiny bit. Like, when I washed it out, it did, the water did run with blue dye, so obviously some has come out, but... It's just not done it as much as I thought. So, yeah. I mean, I did use my Olaplex shampoo, which was not a proper clarifying shampoo. So, I'm going to pop to my local shop now. I'm going to walk there and, fingers crossed, they've got head and shoulders. So, I'm going to try it and grab that. And then, I might try it again tonight or tomorrow. And just, yeah. My scalp's a little bit sore from the bleach yesterday. So, I don't want to do too much to my hair. But, yeah, it's still blue. Oh, got a bit of a headache actually. We just watched episode seven of the Umbrella Academy. It's getting good now. It's is there how many more episodes is there? I one don't. More? Is there? Yeah. Is there Eight what? episodes, yeah. Oh, we'll have to say that for another day. Also, guys, my scalp is so itchy, like itchy and like tight. I think it's because I did that vitamin C shampoo thing and it's made my scalp like maybe even drier than it was because obviously i had it bleached yesterday so that probably wasn't a good idea for me to do that today Oops. i'm gonna not wash my hair for a couple days now because I, I think online it said that that was quite good to do that if you've had your hair bleached because then all the natural oils will kind of come back on your scalp or something i don't know but it's meant to be better and i can't oh, yeah, that makes sense. yeah and then also because you know like when you get like dandruff or yeah. like oily greasy hair yeah. that's meant to help your scalp apparently yeah. yeah and also i shouldn't shampoo my hair either i should just condition it yeah because that will help my scalp as well but i'm not going to wash it for a couple of days usually never needs washing that much when you've just had it bleached anyway but so i'm going to have to keep my hair like this for a little bit longer but i think it has faded a little bit it has faded a bit a little bit hasn't it but yeah, it's still yeah. blue Mm. it's getting blonder though yeah but what i think i'm gonna do is i might get a very pale blue try and match my roots up and then go over it in a block color because otherwise i'm gonna get this band oh yeah it's all gonna yeah usually i don't if i go really so dark like it'll go darker there and not so dark there. yeah or more vibrant there and not yeah, yeah and a different yeah. color there but normally if i go a block dark color it usually is fine all over mm. but because i want to maybe go that green mm. or orange you won't take it i don't really know and it's sad but yeah might not take as well if i'm doing a lighter color so we shall see mm. but if it's all like a silver this is looking blue, quite uh orangey orangey yellow yeah yeah she didn't put any toner on it because she um. knew i was going to die over it so she didn't put any toner on it don't know we shall see what happens with the old barnet it feels dry no, it's so yeah. soft, so silky. How is that dry? I don't know. It's not dry. Mm. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this week's vlog. I will see you in my next one. Peace out.